What is up you guys? It's your boy Captain Jack. We out here, we got Spencer making food and we are hunting some public land which is very difficult in Florida. Uh, but it is archery hunting. We got our bows. We just did a little bit of shooting. Spencer, what do you think? You think I'm dead nuts? You think I'm you think I'm gonna get something if I see it? Oh, as far as shooting it? Yeah. Yeah, I think you may hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hit it. There's my tree up there. And that's my first shot right there. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Sorry to interrupt your video, but I just got to make a quick announcement, guys. We are giving away a four pack of the XOP X2 sticks and their new Invader platform. And all you got to do to get into the giveaway is become a Patreon member. These sticks are so awesome. We tried them out at our workshop a couple months ago. We liked them so much that we just had to get a set of them to give away to our Patreons because we appreciate everything that the Patreons do for the channel. If you wanna know why we think these are so awesome, make sure you click up here or maybe it's over there, somewhere up here, uh, to go check out the gear review that I just finished filming for these. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video. That's awesome, a bunch of little baby quail. Uh, well, not baby quail, a family of quail came cruising by. I stopped to look at this gopher tortoise and I heard some wrestling around in the bushes. Whole family of quail made some little ch -ch -ch noises and they came running out trying to find the babies because that's the sound of the baby. Pretty awesome. Never will know what you're going to run into when you're out here scouting. Always makes it worth it. You guys, this is so pretty. Look at all these little like some kind of lilies and uh there's just butterflies going crazy look at these guys they're just going nuts they're fluttering like crazy and you can hear the bees cruising around too but this spot we just checked out so we hunted this morning didn't really get into anything um i scouted out a new spot set my climbing sticks up um but unfortunately i don't think i'm gonna hunt there because we were walking back to the truck and I found a little well, Spencer and I were just walking down a trail. Um, but then we searched in the area and we found a really two scrapes and one rub. All right, so Spencer and I did some scouting and look what we found. So there's rubs and scrapes all through here. And uh, I think I might, I think I might sit this area. Look at that. It's not super fresh, but there's stuff that works through here. Deer rubbing its horns on that. Something's walking up and down here. I think I'm going to find out what it is. I think I'm going to hunt this area. Shoot over there. But I'm gonna get quiet. It's about 
five in the afternoon and uh, it's about prime time, so fingers crossed. Let's get them. my judo point ready to rock and roll because I'm getting impatient and I'm about to shoot a squirrel because I want to cook up something tonight so watch out squirrels you're on the menu coming into this scrape. I have a trail cam on it and nothing showed up last night. So, I don't know. I might switch gears on like a more confined area. I'll keep you posted. Alright, so we were riding out to our stand and uh, Spencer just stopped, dropped his bike down and turned around and was like, so, we'll see what we got. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna say, oh, oh man, we could have shot him as well. Dang it! That was sick. Dude, that was from the ground, too, man.
might be a bug follow later though. So that's why I grunted. Oh my god, dude, I just smoked a fucking giant. A fucking giant. It's like a fucking eight or a ten. It was in my fucking spot. Dude, dude, I, I, I shot I shot and fucking missed. I don't know how I missed. I I hit I hit a fucking branch or something. And then and then he, he walked, he like went behind the cabbage palm and then I put knocked another arrow. He walked out like 20 yards and I shot through a little bit of palms, went right in the shoulder, and he ran pretty far through the field, straight out to the to the south, southeast. A fucking giant, dude. Hey, 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 don't 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 get excited. I'm I, I need I hope there's blood. Fuck, I hope there's blood. Down yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him run pretty far. He ran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Walk. Walk the north side towards me. Um. And uh, and then just follow that pin. Follow the pin. Oh my God. All right. Dude, that's a good sign. Dude, that's a good sign. All right. Hey. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Oh my god, dude. Did he? Dude, there's air. Yeah. There's air. Yeah, I think you got him, dude. No, shh. How long has it been? He shot it. 20 minutes? Yeah, but if I got him in the lungs, he could be. I mean, he, he ran fast. Yeah. Take a time, dude. That rub. Is it blood? Yep, that could be him. Alright, where's blood? Right here. This is next place, Ray. There, dude, look how much. He's gonna be right here laying down. There's this one, where's the next one? There's some here. Oh, dude. Dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Oh! Dude! Bro! Fuck yeah, man! Fuck yeah! Oh my god! Dude, look at that guy, grab him, dude! My God! Look how wide he is! Oh, Jesus, dude. dude! That's the one, dude! Holy crap! Bro, you fu shot a fucking shit. monster, bro! Dude, look at this giant, dude! Oh! Bro. 
Ooh! Look at the size what? of the width of that rack, dude. I told you he was a giant. Dude, I never, told dude, you. What a monster. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only a seven pointer. Dude, look at buck. that. Look at that shot. Dude, look this, at that shot. Dude, this buck, man. Holy crap. Dude, what a fucking nice one, man. Dude, he's I mean, 150, 140. It's a fucking big deer, dude. Dude, it's crazy. Dude, it's just stuck in there. Yeah, it and it was only bleeding out the right side when he was running out of there. Dude, it was only on the right. He's just scrambling and scrambling. Oh my God. All right. We need to collect ourselves. We need to take care of this oh deer. My God. We need to honor it. Oh my God. What, what an stud. absolute giant. Dude. What a giant on public land, yeah. dude. You guys, what an incredible night so emotional we didn't get done until like 2 a.m and honestly i don't think i would have gotten that deer if it weren't for hunting in that saddle and now normally i don't promote things but the fact that i was able to get in there hunt like he was on me in seconds and all i had time to do was grab my bow and swing around and if i was in a climber or a hang on or something i would have to stand up i'd have to turn around quietly it would i don't think i would have been able to do it or at least i would have been seen um and then thank god i am so lucky that guy gave me another shot i was you could tell how emotional it was how much i was shaking it was crazy but i finally got him and i'm so happy i could bring you guys with me if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. It was quite a successful hunt. I was glad I caught it, captured everything on video. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. Subscribe to the channel because I drop adventures every single week. And I'll see you guys next week for another adventure. Later. All right, so there's my tree up there. And that's my first shot right there. Hey. Yeah. Huh? All right, so it's almost midnight. We're finally finished cleaning this guy. And I caped out the, if anybody knows a good taxidermist, let me know, but I caped out the whole front section of the deer. And this is what we got. <laughs> you gotta keep it ice, but uh, it won't fit any, in, any of the coolers that we have. So, I mean, that thing's loaded down with meat, that thing and ice. And that thing's loaded down, and we just basically put baggies around the 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 head and put them tight, and then stuck it in the cooler. We're gonna put it inside the camper. Hopefully, it stays nice and cool. And also, we used a towel to kind of seal it. Yeah, making it work, making it happen.